So we are going to microchip this young boy, nice looking young boy, and we're going to um, place the microchip at what's called base of left ear, right here inside the left ear, and it's going to be under the skin. And installing a microchip is basically doing um, a subcutaneous injection like we would do for a lot of other medications. It just happens to be with a, a very large needle, uh, but in my experience, there's very little reaction from the alpaca or llama. So we will take uh, a pinch full of uh, skin and fiber right inside the ear and using the bevel point down so that it goes in quickly as opposed to bevel up where it might slide across the skin we're going to insert this needle like so and then plunge and then withdraw so that is the as quick as it needs to happen to install a microchip you may end up with a small amount of bleeding and one can just hold that spot if that happens. 90% uh, of the cases uh, that I've done, uh, there isn't any bleeding. Uh, the hole closes up quickly and they're good to go. Um, we have two kinds of microchips, a 15-digit microchip from Destron and a biothermal microchip from Destron. And we also have a smart chip um, microchip. The Two 15-digit microchips are just ID. The biothermal microchip has uh, the ability to sense the temperature of the host uh, animal that the microchip resides in. Uh, we have a special scanner, a Destron scanner, that reads that, um, that temperature, as well as any other microchip that exists. I encourage folks, uh, once the microchip is installed, to rough the uh, fiber up in case the chip is on the surface of the skin in the fiber and it's just resting there. It won't last there for long obviously um, so we want to make sure it's not there and then go ahead and scan the chip with the scanner to make sure that we're able to read it once it's uh, installed. So we can verify that the chip number that we read matches that chip number on the package. And um, the current theory with alpacas is that the microchip should be installed uh, at the time the blood draw is taken for BVD testing, at least some folks uh, suggest that, so that the microchip, microchip number can be included on the vial that goes to the lab for the BB, BVD test so that there's verification later if that animal shows that the microchip number matches the BVD test results. So if you have any questions on microchipping, please give us a call. Thanks, Rory.